hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another miscellaneous type of video today i will be showing you how to make custom msi after one overlay uh, like this one this is one of my recent videos on channel and old viewers will know this ui i have made it with the msi after burner and liver tuner so i'm going to show you everything step by step there will be two part in this video one is the basic guide uh, how you can just add this mm, like text and stats and the advanced part in which i will show you some advanced tweaks like uh, coloring the text uh, making it larger smaller adding this box type of overlay adding the graph and finding some missing options which are not already present in the overlay so yeah this is going to be interesting with that being said it is also going to be a little bit uh, longer than expected so let's start this video without any delay now all right so first of all you will be need to install ms afterburner along with uh, riva tuner so i hope you have already installed that uh, first we will disable everything from the on screen display like i have already run heaven in the background like uh, by default uh, your uh, ms after one hour will show something like this uh, not the name will appear here like it will appear like gpu usage if usage but yeah anyway we're going to need to disable everything so we're going to the setting option you can use any skin uh, so we're going to setting then monitoring and from here uh, we will disable everything which have the in osd tick so yeah let's do this in fast forward all right uh, we have disabled everything that was already on the screen now you can see this uh, there are no more uh, ms after one status except the system time which is not uh, necessary to disable so now we're gonna go to the reward even statistics app and after that we will select this global option then we're gonna go to the setup and after that we click on plugin then we select the overlay editor double click on it and a new kind of uh, window will appear here now this is the whole screen in which you can set everything up so i will try to set up and make it look something like uh, my ui uh, now if i go to try every single stat on this screen then the video will be very long so yeah i will show the basic and the advanced and of the options you can just create and trial and error yourself so yeah first uh, i will add this um, like uh, this one pc spec and gaming and fix and then i will try to show this too so first we will need to go to the layer so click on layer then add then again layer and add now two layers have come here uh, now all we need to do is select a layer double click on that and we will need to edit it edit the layer according to our needs so for this one i will name it as uh, the pc space sp you see now you can see i'm getting giving a little space in between them because that's how my this spell has set already so i'm going to click on apply then okay and now i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to click uh, gaming and fix all right now you can see these are um, like uh, orange color so in order to change the color and size uh, we will double click on that again and in here you will see custom color so you're going to click on that then click on this box and select any color you want then okay apply okay now you can see the color has changed i will apply blue color to this one also just like the video all right and now you will see this as the same size now if you want to increase the size you will double click on that and from here you can increase the size so i'm going to set it at 160 now this part has been done uh, now i'm going to show you how to uh, like set the borders uh, border area of the text like move the text in between this layer so if you notice uh, correctly you will see that this is the whole layer like this size but the text is like sticking at the left top corner so if you want to set the text at middle or this bottom corner or right side you will double click on that again and from here you will see some margin type of thing 
so you can select it here like the center one click on apply and the text will appear on center you can select the right bottom corner and it will get to the right bottom corner so there's that you can do that but i'm going to just set it on top left because that's how i use it on this one all right now the basic part has been done uh, now i will add two more layers and show you how to add the gpu stats and gpu uh, number like uh, if you see here it says gpu usage and after that the usage is here so first i'm going to just uh, rename it in gpu usage and then click on apply and okay just recolor it again and in here uh, we will double click on that now looking for cheap pc games then look no further get black myth wukong at 199 rupees or 2.3 us dollar and other games are on your screen pause the video come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel we need to add the gpu usage here in order to do that uh, first we click on this uh, plus button then we click on this drop down list and select the gpu usage from this list gpu one usage it is so we select it then we click on add current value to macro then click on apply then click on apply and ok now you can see just let me recolor it again now you can see that the gpu usage has appeared here the basic step has been done now you can add all these uh, things one by one by clicking and everything now if you can't find some uh, of the options so which are uh, in my video like uh, the core clock won't be there like if i add another layer here if i double click on that and if i select on the plus button and select here you won't see any core clock core clock here like the gpu score clock is not here so in order to add that uh, we will need to go to the data sources click on data sources then click on edit now from here uh, we will click on add button and after that we will select this uh, msi after burner from this drop down list select msi after burner and from here we will select the cpu core clock i uh, sorry the gpu core clock all right the gpu core clock is in the internal hall option not the msi after burner my bad so from here we will select the gpu core clock uh, wait a second there the gp1 clock so we click on this ok we also add some more options which are needed gpu memory clock uh, gpu temperature gpu usage gpu power and maybe gpu process slash the memory usage like how much gpu vram is currently uh, it's using uh, all right i think everything has added and the memory clock also all right now click on ok and click on ok again now if we select this text layer again and if we go to the plus button after that we click on this data sources now we will see that uh, gpu uh, core clock will appear here wait uh, there the gpu core clock will appear here now we select that click on add current value to macro ok apply ok there it is done now so now you can add anything from the data sources which are already missing just click on add button and select from here you can also add some ida64 if you have installed hw info values here you need to run those software in the background you can also add from MS after burner etc etc so you get my point now totally the rest of the tutorial is up to you like how you can create them and uh, you can also share these presets in my discord too i will be sharing my preset in the discord too if somebody wants uh, then grab that discord and you can just load it uh, i will show you how you can load it so in order to load that you just click on layout and click on this load option and then you can select from uh, that like if you download my overlay you can just click on select that one and it will be loaded these are some basic already uh, like pre-built stuff so you can just click on them and uh, you will see that some of this overlay is already loaded so yeah the tutorial really ends here now if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, if you're facing any kind of issue comment down below i will try to help you and join discord for cheap games and everything and i will see you guys in the next one cheers